After discharging operation at Japan, our vessel headed towards Australia for loading 78,000 tons of coal. There was a great excitement about this voyage because the discharge port after loading at Australia was my country India and in this pandemic crisis of covid there was a confirmed hope for the crew members to go back to their loved ones i mean the happiest moment of signing off at india was awaiting for the crew who had already completed 9 months on board arrival australian territorial waters the pilot boarded the vessel in a chopper and assisted to cross the shallow waters of great barrier reef Due to concession for loading, we were instructed to be at anchorage for a week's time. A safe designated anchor position was allocated by Hay Point VTS, so we anchored the vessel approximately 10 nautical miles away from the port. The anchorage operation was carried out safely. As we were at anchorage, we had a precious time to carry out maintenance on all the machineries, prepare our cargo holds for loading operation, and most importantly, conduct all port state control preparations. As after COVID restrictions were reduced, the AMSA was back into action. A goal without a plan is just a wish. An hour of planning can save you ten hours of doing. We top four officers pre-planned and categorized the jobs before berthing the vessel. The plan for the jobs was ready. Then the execution of plan begin. First, we concentrated on all the PSC checks and reconfirmed all emergency machineries are operating satisfactorily. We started with the rescue boat inspection. The engines were tested and confirmed the cooling water impeller was functioning properly. Ahead. and aston moments were tried out then the rescue boat was planned to be lowered and maneuvered in water later the permission from vts the rescue boat was ready for lowering The duties were explained to concerned crew members and the boat was lowered in water. Ship's chief officer along with third engineer and able seaman had the opportunity for the ride. They maneuvered the rescue boat very skillfully, inspected the hull condition, and returned back safely. Good job, guys! The boat was lifted back and secured in its position. Inspection of lifeboat was carried out. especially the engine operation with three consecutive kicks on each battery all the other concerned checks were also conducted i'll be preparing a video on detailed checks for lifeboat which a psc officer expects to be in order the engine ahead and aston movements along with the port and starboard movements of the rudder were confirmed for proper operation the three monthly routine test for lowering of live boat was due so the boat was lowered to confirm the launching gear was operating satisfactory
After the maneuvering of the lifeboat in water, the boat was secured back in its position. Next, the testing of emergency generator and blackout simulation test was carried out. On the emergency switchboard panel, the selector switch mode was changed from auto to local. The switch on the control panel was changed from remote to local. Then the emergency generator was started to check all the parameters were in normal range. Also the backup arrangement for starting on spring motor was tested. Then the simulation test was conducted to check in case of blackout the emergency genset starts automatically and comes on load within 45 seconds as per the SULAS regulation. The generator started automatically on its own. The fixed firefighting CO2 system for engine room was inspected. Checked all the safety pins on the CO2 cylinders were removed as per manufacturer's instructions. The procedures for operating were in place. Also checked the pilot lines were intact. Confirmed the securing arrangement was in order. Also checked for every cylinder there were no twists or kinks in the hoses. The CO2 fire extinguishing system was in order. While one team was carrying out checks on the port state control items, the deck team was busy in deck upgradation and preparing cargo holds for loading operation. The engine team was carrying out routine maintenance on main engine and rectifying some issues on engine room auxiliary machineries. So let's go to the engine room for the rounds. Some people look for a beautiful place, we the sailors make a place beautiful. The engine crew always maintain the engine room presentable as good housekeeping is the first principle of safety. It was informed the loading operation was very fast which means the deblasting operation needed both ballast pumps to be used. Out of two, one of the ballast pumps mechanical seal was damaged causing heavy leakage through it. So we plan to renew the seal. I have already prepared a video on procedures for renewal of a mechanical seal on a ballast pump. You can watch the video by clicking the link attached in the corner. As the vessel was on anchorage, the electrical power requirement to run the auxiliary machineries could be easily supplied by single generator. This was the perfect time to carry out the decarbonization job on the generator with running hours due for it as we had one standby generator for emergency use and most importantly the temperatures in engine room were low and favorable for this job. So the decarb job was carried out. We never miss a birthday of any team member to celebrate it on board. In a busy and hectic schedule, we celebrated a birthday of our colleague. It keeps the crew motivated to do their best in fulfilling their duties.
As the vessel was at anchorage, we had a lot of guests on board, making our main deck dirty. The deck couldn't be cleaned as the wash water was restricted to send or boat. But we enjoyed their company. After all, a guest never forgets the host who had treated them kindly. A perfectly skilled and trained team of five members were busy preparing the cargo holds for loading. After constant and continuous hard work, they had efficiently cleaned seven huge holds. It's all easier said than done. The holds are really big to clean up to the required standards. Finally, the ship was ready for berthing and loading operation. After a week's time at anchorage, as per planned schedule from VTS, we received a call regarding the pilot boarding time which was midnight 2 o'clock. We tested our main engines and other auxiliary equipments and were standby to berth our vessel. Later, after safe maneuvering, vessel arrived early morning at berth for loading. Welcome to Haypoint Australia Loading Terminal. The loading plant was one of the best examples of an extreme engineering design with a loading rate of approximately 5000 metric tons per hour. With a loading rate of 5000 metric tons per hour, it would take just 15 hours to load our vessel. So, we had to consider every factor contributing towards safe loading operation. The chief officer perfectly planned the loading sequence and the cargo was being loaded as per the plan. To avoid listing of the vessel, the duty officer continuously monitored the loading operation. As the loading plant was open to sea, vessel was experiencing surge due to the underwater currents. This needed the mooring ropes to be inspected continuously and keep them tight to prevent the movement of the vessel. Along with the loading operation, the chief mate was also conducting the ballasting of tanks to maintain the stability of the vessel. In order to confirm the blast tank soundings were reducing, the cadet was continuously taking the manual soundings on deck. The cargo was loaded really very fast. Huge fender arrangements of the terminal restricted the movement of the vessel and keep her steady. In meantime, vessel received some provisions for the upcoming voyage. Now the loading operation was at final stage. According to the plan, finally the cargo was loaded safely up to the calculated draft marks. And now the departure procedures had started. Main engine was tested in ahead and astern direction. As I had mentioned earlier, the crew was very happy as at discharge port, they were planned for a happiest moment of a seafarer. Sign off. After crossing the Great Barrier Reef, the pilot disembarked and we continued our journey into deep blue sea.